What's up guys and welcome back to LSJ TV. As you can probably tell by my voice, I've just woken up. It's around about 10 o'clock in the morning on Friday the 25th of August. That means that Ibiza is one week away. We leave one week today guys, so let's see how the weighing checks in. <laughs> Get in there! Get in there. I tell you what guys, that is the first time my body has broken beneath 176 pounds in the entire summer shredding competition and this entire cut as well. Finally, 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 we have broken beneath that barrier and that is because of that consistent training, that consistent diet and staying as consistent as we can towards those goals. Even with that pizza that you saw in the last video guys. Just shows that everything you can have can be in, mo in moderation. And if it fits your macros, it's not too bad after all. Right guys, so currently on my way to Cam's house, purely because we're going to head down the park and take some photos for Instagram for the website. The website is fully in swing now, it's pretty much there, just all the little nitty gritty bits that we've got to do. Um, so we need some extra photos of the hats, of the shirts and everything like that. It's been a great day today, but I've been stuck inside doing my PT work, but cracking on with it all for you guys, ready to get those PT programs prepared. Alright guys, made it back from that walk around the park, taking some pictures, got some awesome shots. So stay tuned on Instagram and Facebook and everything like that using the links in the description box down below. You are missing out on constant stories, constant updates on the website, constant updates on the channel, constant updates on everything guys, you're just missing out. So if you're not already on there, then use the links in the description box down below. So it's going to be a pool day today, I'm going to kind of go a little bit unorthodox, I'm on my own today, Cam's not here, Joe's not here, not training with dad or anything like that, so it's just me on my Todd, but... What we're gonna do, I'm gonna mix it up a little bit today. It's pull day, so essentially anything you pull. So basically all you can do is pretty much any kind of row, whether it's vertical, horizontal, whatever, that's pretty much all you can do. So I think I might try and see how much I can do on the adjustable pulleys here. As you guys can see, we have this in the corner. If you're new to the channel, this is my home gym here. We've got a leg press in the corner. We've got a half rack here with a barbell and everything. And then we have the cables in the corner. And we've got adjustable dumbbells down there as well. So I think pretty much what I'm going to try and do is do as much of the workout as I possibly can on the cables and just see how we get on. See how the pump is and compare it to what it's normally like. So I'm going to keep this raw footage and kind of update you as we go along. So here we go. Giving myself that time to warm up the entire upper body. Yes, this is back day, yes this is pool day, but I'm just getting the blood pumping around the entire body, fully preparing myself just until I feel mentally ready and physically ready to start the workout. So if you're wondering why I'm doing chest flies at the start of a pool workout, then that is why. Don't knock it until you try it guys, I feel like it helps with an overall body pump, but give it a go, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. sets of pull-ups done again on the adjustable cables we have pull up option on there but we are choosing to do every single thing for today's workout on the adjustable pulleys so we're going to go one more set of pull-ups and then we're going to go straight into a seated row i'm going to put the cable at the bottom use the wide grip sort of uh, horseshoe grip handle that we've got and then we'll get a feel really good stretch in the back and then we'll move on from there guys Alright guys, next movement of the day is going to be again on the adjustable pulley machine. We're going to be using the tricep push down rope, but instead we're going to use it for a straight arm cable pull down. Really focusing on feeling that squeeze at the top of the motion, stretching out the lats just like I said at the start of the video, and pulling down from the elbows, keeping them nice and tight, and really getting that good contraction in the back, getting the most out of the movement as we possibly can guys. Not going too heavy, so you'll find your sway or start to turn it into a tricep push down in fact. So take your time, lower the weight, drop the ego, drop the weight, and let's go. Solid first set guys, we're going to jump into two more sets after 60 second rest. Then we're going to change it to the lat pull down bar and have three solid sets of nice, slow, controlled lat pull downs guys. We're going to do that again on the adjustable pulley guys. This is going to be a full adjustable pulley workout. If you could only ever have one piece of home gym equipment, I would recommend it to be that. It's the most versatile thing I've ever had. This is great, this would be the second best thing I would say. If you think about it, you can train every single muscle group using it. You just have to buy the different 
attachment. And it takes up hardly any space. It's really, really good, really compact piece of machinery. Couldn't recommend it anymore, guys. What a banger from Dapper Lash. Some people will be watching me singing there thinking, what the f are you doing, Liam? Well, I'll tell you what I'm doing. I am expressing myself in the gym. And if you express yourself in the gym, if you are positive in the gym, if you are happy in the gym, then you will have a good session. And I'll tell you what, you will not only have a good session, you will just feel better overall. If you express yourself in a gym, it doesn't necessarily have to be a gym. Find out what works for you, find out what you enjoy, and stick to it. Make the most of it, guys. Do it as much as you can. Like I'm training six days a week at the minute. I would train seven, I would train 12 times a week if I really could. Obviously that's not great. But the message I want you to take from this little chat, this little rant before I get onto my next set, I'm resting too long as it is. Find what you're good at, find what you love, and just utilize it as much as you possibly can. I'm building this channel around the gym. This is what I love to do, I love making content. People always say to me, Leo, isn't it a pain in the ass having to record your sessions? Isn't it a pain in the ass having to edit all the videos? No. I love this shit. I love it so fucking much. And I, do, I genuinely don't know what I'd do without it at the minute. It's just, it's something, it gives me motivation, it gives me drive, it gives me purpose. At the end of the day, guys, I have 500 people like watching over me, responsible for me losing weight for Ibiza, for me looking the best that I can possibly be. And that is all the motivation I need. And I tell you what, you guys help me so much and I'm just glad that I'm in a position to be able to help you guys. Together we will grow. Next set. Next movement is gonna be the lat pull down, again using the adjustable pulleys. The reason I love this so much is because it really makes you focus on that mind to muscle connection. It really makes you focus on pulling from the elbows, contracting the lats properly. We're not half repping or anything like that. We're coming down and we're really having to squeeze because at the end of the day, if you think about it guys, this is a two separate pulleys. This is separate to this, right? So that just means that if you pull differently with one arm than the other, you'll end up all sideways. So it really helps you to focus and develop that mind to muscle connection throughout your training. Would I have a lap pull down machine if I could? Yes, but there's not the space for that and we don't really have the money for that either guys. So, this shit gets expensive. You gotta make the best of the situation that you're in and to be honest with you guys, I think the situation that I'm in is pretty damn good. This is a good thing which is different to what you get in normal gyms, different to what you get in most home gyms and it just gives you a complete different style of training guys and I love it. So guys, it is time to take, it's halfway through the workout, we're gonna take my BCAAs from Lean Active. If you guys are interested in anything, any pre-workout, any protein, any CLAs, BCAAs, anything like that, then use my link in the description box and my discount code as well. Save yourself some dollar. Right guys, so far that's two vertical rows and two horizontal rows. We're gonna finish that off with one more horizontal row. I'm gonna kinda incorporate the core, doing one arm at a time using the machine. I'm gonna set it up around about mid-height. That's just gonna allow me to get the full range of motion. I'm gonna keep a nice neutral grip so I can really squeeze that back really get the most out of it guys. Pause in one, two at the top, and then a nice slow negative guys. And then we're gonna do the same with the other arm. Pause one, two, and a nice slow negative. After that, we're gonna move on to some traps, and it'll be interesting to see how we're gonna do that on the pulleys. One of the other perks of a pull day is the sick ass arm pump. When you're basically using the biceps as a secondary muscle group in every single movement guys, the pump, just keeps on coming. Now you don't necessarily have to guys, but what I like to do is train traps as well on pull day. So we're training back and traps essentially, all the things that you would pull. So how do you train your traps? Pretty much, you shrug. So at the end of the day, that's pretty much the only plan of motion they can do. So how I'm gonna do that on the cables is lower them all the way to the bottom, stack on enough weight, I'm gonna to have to kind of try it out, test it and everything, but I'll get there eventually and that's what you'll have to do as well. Trial and test and find out what works for you, what kind of weight you need to be at. So then once I've got it at the bottom, I'm just gonna step back, take a couple of steps back and shrug. Up and back, holding that contraction and then a slow release down to the bottom again. We're not just gonna shrug up and down, up and down, up and down. To get the full contraction, the full range of movement on the traps, you're gonna shrug up and then back and back down again. Up, 
back and back down again. I've seen so much more trap gains and since I've been doing that, I used to just be that guy in the gym who would just be like, yeah, ah, ah. Just the same as anything else, guys. Take your time with the form, take your time with the weight, take your time with the lift overall, and you'll see much more progress in a short period of time. The last movement of the day, guys, is gonna be a bicep, tricep, superset. A lot of you are gonna be wondering why I'm hitting triceps on pull day. Well, I mean, at the end of the day, guys, who doesn't love leaving the gym with a full arm pump? There's nothing better than an arm pump, right? For the biceps, I'm just gonna be doing a normal straight barbell curl, because as you guys know, I need to work on my peak. I have a lot more thicker of a bicep than I do a good peak, and so that is something I've been working on all summer, and that I'm starting to see a little bit more difference, guys. <laughs> Okay guys, that is going to conclude today's workout and conclude today's video. If you did enjoy this style of workout or if you want to give it a go, don't forget to leave the video a like and a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts guys because that is actually a hell of a lot more helpful than you guys might think. I'm going to stay consistent with those weights, stay consistent with my training, consistent with my cardio. I'm going to keep everything on point guys and reach those goals before I beef her. Speaking of which, it's time for me to hit the stepper and do 45 minutes to an hour of cardio guys. So I'm going to get on that. Thank you so much for watching. As always remember, no regrets. I'll see you guys in the next video.